Hey everyone, I am Elizabeth Sherman from Total Health by Elizabeth and I am a health coach who helps women uh, mainly uh, ease into healthier habits. Um, I am a personal trainer, I am a nutritionist, and I am a health coach. Uh, so I deal with uh, the five areas of health, which is diet, uh, movement, uh, stress management, sleep management, and uh, smoking cessation. So today I have a question from one of my followers and that question is about soy. Um, I'm sure you've heard a lot about soy. It's all over the place and there's a lot of really confusing information out there about soy as well. Um, so I just want to give you some facts and you can decide whether soy is good for you or not. Um, so just like with everything, uh, soy is a very, I don't want to say controversial, but um, we don't have any foods that are all good or all bad. So, you know, everything is in a continuum. And so you just need to decide where soy is on the continuum for you. So let's talk about why soy is popular. So first, you've probably heard about proteins. I've talked about proteins before. Uh, there are three protein, or there are three macronutrients. You have protein, you have fat, and you have uh, carbohydrates. And um, so protein is actually uh, you know, something that we want to get into our diet because protein is actually um, essential. Uh, you can't live without it. Uh, there are lots of foods that have proteins in them. Um, mainly, uh, proteins come from animal sources. But, you know, with um, everything that's going on in the world and our carbon emissions, um, you know, animals are actually really expensive to maintain and eat. So many people are moving to a plant-based diet. Now, um, proteins are made up of what are called amino acids. There are some amino acids that your body can generate, and there are nine amino acids that you need to get from your food source. And those are what we call the essential amino acids. So again, most of the time, these essential amino acids come from uh, animal sources. So um, animal muscle basically so chicken beef shrimp um, fish uh, pork things like that uh, now there are trace amounts of those amino acids in your plant-based foods however soy is the only plant-based food that has all nine essential amino acids inside of it otherwise you have to do some like food combining and um, that just means you know you've heard about that before like eating rice and beans together which ultimately you don't need to eat uh, these complementary protein sources, uh, plant-based protein sources in the same meal, just making sure that you get your amino acids in for uh, them within the day. So that's why soy is actually really popular. Um, there are also some other reasons why you might want to include soy in your diet. Soy has, oh, it's amazing in terms of how much protein it has as well as how much fiber it has. Um, so it's actually really good from a nutritional standpoint. Um, it's got healthy fats as well, so that's all good. Um, and it may lower your cholesterol. So why do we might want to stay away from soy? Um, one of the reasons is that soy is a major crop in the U.S. And so just like corn, um, soy might be genetically modified. Now, genetically modified, I don't want to get into a whole discussion about that. Um, I can at a later time. If you want to hear about that, go ahead and write it in the comments. Um, at this point, we don't know if uh, genetically modified foods are good or bad for us, um, but we do know that they've been modified so that uh, pest pests, insects, won't eat those crops. So um, that's why soy is genetically modified. Um, so again, we don't know what the impact of that genetically modified soy is 
on our bodies. Also, the other thing to consider is that much of our soy products are processed. So just like you want to stay away from processed carbohydrates, like crackers and cookies and breads and things like that, you probably want to stay away from processed soy products as well. Um, soy products, meaning like that soy meat that you see in the freezer aisle, that's really kind of processed. Um, and I realize it's soy and so we think it's a health food, but it's they've been adding some chemicals and flavors and other things to it to get it to a different texture as well as to get it to a meat-like flavor. So you may want to stay away from those things that are processed soy products. So that would be like soy cheese, uh, meat substitutes, and soy milk. So anything that doesn't look like the actual soy bean, um, you know, those things that kind of look like uh, pea pods that you get in Japanese restaurants, um, those are your actual soy beans. Um, so those are actually unprocessed. Those are amazing edamame. I love eating that. Um, but also tofu is actually a really good minimally processed version of soy as well as as tempa. So um, if it doesn't look like those things, you might want to stay away from it. The other thing that we want to know about soy is that in some studies, um, women who have a lot of soy in their diets um, may be at increased risk of uh, contracting cancer. So what happens is soy um, has some sort of estrogen uh, mimicking in the body and what that does is it attracts cancer cells. Similarly to uh, the BPAs that you find in uh, bottles, uh, so plastic water bottles. So um, there's not a lot of research on that but it could lead to disease in that way. So those are the good and the bad things about soy. So you know with everything, in summary, with everything you know you probably just want to take it easy. So have moderate amounts. You know, one serving of minimally processed soy a day is probably not going to, you know, give you cancer. Um, but if you're using soy as a total replacement for all of your uh, meat-based products, you may want to vary that to other um, protein sources as well. So, um, I don't know if that cleared it up for you, but at least I gave you some information. I don't think that soy is all good, and I don't think that soy is all bad, but it can definitely fit into anyone's diet, um, especially if you're trying to limit the amount of meat that you're eating in your diet, because eating soy is definitely going to be better for you than eating uh, red meat. So uh, that's all I have for you today. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you later.